solve this, we need to look at the ratio test, where basically the limit as n approaches infinity of the modulus of the n plus oneth term over the nth term is less than one. And if that's the case, then it converges. So let's have a look at the limit as n approaches infinity of this. Uh, it does look a little bit hairy, but a lot of it cancels out. So basically we have replacing n by n plus one, we have n plus one factorial, two n plus one factorial times mod x to the n plus one over three n plus one factorial, that's the a n plus oneth term, and the a nth term we know is n factorial, two n factorial mod x to the n over three n factorial. Now this does look hairy, but most of it cancels out, and that simplifies to being the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus one, two n plus one, two n plus two, mod x over 3n plus 1, 3n plus 2, 3n plus 3. And all we need to do on this to find out what the limit is, is look at the, the coefficient of n cubed. Well, the coefficient of n cubed on the top is 4n cubed plus order of n squared. And on the bottom, it is 27n cubed add order of n squared. And so therefore, this limit becomes equal to the limit is 4 over 27 mod x and we need that to be less than 1 i.e. we need mod x to be less than 27 over 4 and as we're only looking for positive x therefore the range of x for which it converges is e x between 0 and 6.75